so in surah maryam 19 ayah 42 to 43 44 id qala li abihi ya abati lima ta'budu ma la yasma'u wa la yubsiru wa la yughni anka shay'a when he ibrahim said to his father oh my father why do you serve those who do not listen who do not have insight and they cannot enrich you about anything further ibrahim sam said ya abati inni qad ja'ani min al-ilm ma lam yatika fattabi'ni ahdika sirata siratan sabiya surely oh my father without doubt there has come to me from the knowledge what did not come to you so follow me i will guide you on an even and on an even way ya abati la ta'budu ash-shaytan inna ash-shaytan kana lir-rahmani asiya oh my father do not serve satan surely the satan is disobedient for the most gracious in these three ayas you will note that ibrahim alayhi salam is giving the message to his father he is not thinking that i have got the message and i will not speak to my father he has to deliver the message to his father and he says to his father why do you serve those who do not listen and do not do not have any insight why are you listening to them they cannot enrich you of anything this he said it okay but then he reasons out he reasons that reasons out surely oh my father without doubt there has come to me from knowledge of what you did, did not uh, that did, uh, from the knowledge that what did not come to you that did not come to you so follow me i will guide guide you since he had received the knowledge of the ayas or the allah's message that is why he's saying i have received the knowledge which did not come to you then only you can deliver the message when you say something then you have to say you got the knowledge and once you got the knowledge then you have to share it if you don't have the knowledge if you don't believe it then you cannot share it and if you think you have understood you're not sharing it you have to share it in a nice manner then father he said oh my father do not serve satan surely the satan is disobedient for the most precious then he said the satan is the i told you the, the basic enemy is the satan the shaitan because he makes sure he creates this harmony he creates this unity he is 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 basically involving and creating corruption in the land so further ibrahim said ya abati inni akhafu an yamassaka adabun min min ar-rahman fa takuna lish-shaytani waliya oh my father surely i fear the punishment touches you from the most gracious so you will become a protector for satan so ibrahim alayhi salam is telling his father that the the punishment of allah will touch you from the most if you will become a protector of satan because what is protection the protection you know if you want to protect me you will take a stand for me i'm just giving an example if somebody says something wrong about me you'll take a stand no no mama shake in order like i'm like like that you're taking a protection you're giving your arguments to protect me similarly you protect satan so the, he's saying you will protect satan and once you protect the shaitan i am afraid that the, the punishment of allah will touch you now this son is talking to his father the son is talking to his father now ibrahim alayhi salam father reacted or replied qala araghibun anta alihati ya ibrahim la la illam tantahi la arjumannaka wahjurni maliya he ibrahim's father said do you detest this like about my gods o ibrahim if you do not stop i will definitely stone you and leave me alone for a long time now in the answer to all this advice or the message given to him ibrahim's father said i will stone you 
if you do not stop, if you have detest or disliking to my gods, to whom he were believing, he said, I will, if you detest, you detest them, you dislike them, my gods, I will stone you. And further he said, leave me alone for a long time. And another place of the, in the Quran, he said, I'll throw you in the fire. And he finally throws him in the fire. Ibrahim Islam was thrown in the fire by his father. How son, any son would have that much courage to face his father by delivering the message? Who has got that courage? First, he has to deliver the message in the righteous manner. How can he? He has, just has to ask him to read the ayahs. These ayahs, the very ayahs I'm reading. You don't open your mouth. Shut up your mouth. Ask him to read this ayah. You see, the more the, more, the moment we talk, start talking, we start talking in our own languages. We have to speak the ayahs translated, or they read it, or you translate and read it for them. And father, when he gets so angry that he says, I will stone you or leave me alone. Or I'll stone you to death or I'll put you into the fire. That is the last stage. Till that you have, you can't say, I didn't, I am taking the message, I'm not discussing because of mushrik. You have to deliver the message if you understand and believe. So what Ibrahim said, after the detest, after he said, I, if you do not stop, I will definitely stone you or leave me alone for a long time or he said, I will throw you to the fire. The reply of Ibrahim Islam is very beautiful. Qala salamun alayk. Sa'astaghfiru laka rabbi innahu kana bi hafiya. He said, peace be unto you, soon I will seek forgiveness from my Lord, surely he is affectionate with me. He, don't, he didn't fight, he didn't roar, he, didn't, he was not arrogant. You know, people, children speak to their father with an arrogant, that I am right, the Quran is right, I am right. No, not that way. He was like this. He said, peace be unto you. Soon I will seek forgiveness from my Lord. Surely is affectionate with me. This is very important. We should take a lesson in spite of the fact. He said, I will stone you. Meaning this, he, didn't, he must have not said very lightly. The way you can imagine he, how he would have said, I stone you. Or I will throw you into the fire. How he would have said. And how is your reaction is that I, he said, peace be unto you. Salam, salam alaik to a mushrik father. You say he is not a Muslim, don't say salam. To Ibrahim Islam, he is salam alaik to his father. You say we, we people are, have got our own religion. In, in spite of the fact when he says salam alaik to his father who is a mushrik, and then he says, I will seek forgiveness from my Lord and surely his affection for me. And then in Surah Shura 26, 86, And forgive my father, surely he was from those who astray. In spite of the fact his father was astray, a moshik, he asked forgiveness for his father. But was it accepted? It was not accepted. The conclusion is the father was righteous, oh, sorry, his father was wrong, Ibrahim was his father. And from the mushrik genes, the biggest prophet or the greatest, one of the greatest prophet Ibrahim was born. So it's not new transferring from this new transfer to this and new transfer to this new, new is all here today. In the Quran, it's completely break. Ibrahim al -Islam was righteous. His father was a mushrik. No transfers of nur or badness. Ibrahim became the one of the biggest prophet. Allah says he's the father of religion. But his son Ismail is righteous. Ishaq al -Islam was righteous. Uh, Yaqub al -Islam, he was righteous. And Yusuf al -Islam was a prophet and righteous. But on the other hand, Nur al could not save his son. His son. Pegambar, the prophet. So what I'm saying that if Nur Sam had the spirit, 
he couldn't save his son. Nur Islam has the spirit of the message. He could not save his wife. So it's a matter individual. But the message is how to share it. So similarly here. So Ibrahim Islam, because he said, I will, he, he made a promise. He said, uh, I, what he said lastly, I read again. He said, Qala salamun laka rabbi. Soon I will seek forgiveness from my Lord. I will seek forgiveness from my Lord, even you are a mushrik. So in, in Surah Ibrahim 14, 40 and 41, we still today are repeating the same words what he said. He said, Rabbi Jalni, Mukima Salati, Wamin Duryati, Rabbana wa Taqabbal Dua. First he says, Oh my Lord, make me one who established Salah the prayer, and from my offsprings, O oh our Lord, accept my call. Rabbana Fili Wali Wali Daya. Wali Daya means parents. Walil Mu'minin. Yawma Yawma Yaqumul Hisab. O oh, our Lord, have forgiveness for me and for my parents and for the believers when the day of account is established. Now, if you note in this ayah, first he is asking himself to forgive, uh, establish the salah. Rabbi Jali Mukima Salah. O oh, our Lord, make me who establish the salah. This is also a call or dua. Because we people are not establishing the Salah prayer. So instead of pointing finger, you establish the Salah. First is asking, Rabbi Jali Mukima Salah. Wamin Duryati and then my offsprings. Rabbana wa taqabbal dua and O oh, our Lord, you accept my call. Then he said, Rabbana filli wali wali O oh, our Lord, make my parents Forgive them, forgive them my parents. And one of the father, we know that he was a Moshe, I don't know about the mother, is not mentioned. <coughs> Ibrahim's mother is not mentioned in the Quran, but of course, whatever she was, religion belonged, but he's asking forgiveness for their parents. See, Nuh al-Islam's parents is not mentioned, he's asking forgiveness for the parents. Ibrahim al-Islam is, is also asking for their parents. So remember, in spite of that, all the enmity or the badness your parents would have done, you have to ask forgiveness. This is the sunnah and the practice of Ibrahim. You have to deliver the message nicely in the manner as Allah says in the Quran, and then you have to ask forgiveness for your parents. As Ibrahim al-Islam asked and in the prayers, I don't know what people, some people read Rabban Atina Fid Dunya, but normally in the majority of the Muslim world, we read after Tehyat, Rabbi Jalni Mukima Salati, Wamin Duryati, Rabbana wa Taqabbal Dua, Rabbana Fili Wali Wali Daya, Walil Mu'mina Yawma Yaqum al Do you read in this in your prayers? This is the Dua and the call of Ibrahim al Islam, saying that, O oh, our Lord, make me who establish the Salah prayer and make from my offsprings to practice the Salah, the prayer. And, and you accept my call. And then he says, Oh, our Lord, forgive for me, my parents and the believers. Parents is one of them, Father is Bushik, but otherwise believers, forgive the believers, not the non-believers. Look, Rabbana Fili Wali Wali Daya, in the wallet is the non-believer, but Bushik. Will move me in? and the believers. Yawm yaqumul hisab on the day of judgment. Then in the relation between father and son, there is one more a request of Yusuf al-Islam's brothers had done something wrong with Yusuf al-Islam. They threw him, there's a whole narration. So after the sons realize, they said to their father, they threw the son in the well. These brothers of Yusuf al Islam threw, uh, threw the, throw the son in a well. That's the narration surah, in Surah Yusuf. And they lied to their father, and their whole narration is there. So when they realized that we have done wrong, so they said to their father, Surah Yusuf 12, 97 and 98, Qalu ya abana 
قال سوف استغفر لكم ربي ان هو الغفور الرحيم دي سيد او اور فادر سيك فور اس فورجيفنس فور اور سينز شورلي وي ار ذا وانز هو كميت ميستيك هي ذات از يعقوب سيد سون اي ويل سي فورجيفنس فور يو فروم ماي لورد شورلي هي الله از ذا اوف فورجيفنج موست مرسيفول يوسف ال اسلام هاز براذرز they were jealous of yusuf al islam so they threw yusuf al islam in a well and they lied to their father that that the wolf had eaten the yusuf al islam that's the narration so after this whole narration and after that yusuf al islam was right and they came to know everything was all right so they they were guilty so they wanted to ask forgiveness from allah and to their father so they said to the, so we say you know we say to each other you you ask for forgiveness you have have you heard this uh mama she you ask for forgiveness we also pray you also pray you know, so they are people to so say so you can say but remember you can say only when you are doing right his father knew that their sons did commit a mistake they repented they amended now they are asking qalu ya abana astaghfir lana dunubana inna kunna khatiin they are accepting their mistake not that i am doing same thing wrong again and you are asking me you pray for me it is not like that these brothers they said our, our father seek for us forgive for our sins surely we are the ones who commit mistake we have committed a mistake that is why they are asking so further for that yaqub al sam said qala sawfa astaghfiru lakum rabbi innahu huwal ghafur rahim He said, "Soon, I will seek forgiveness for you from my Lord. Surely, is Allah the forgiving, merciful." So, what what is the end of this whole lecture is that both parent and children both have done mistakes. By for, by parents' first mistake, they by bringing them up. in the nearness of allah as a believer they have done mistakes and i have done everybody does mistakes what is the amendment we should know and the son are also committing mistakes both the children parent children relationship in if you load both are doing wrong mostly because both of us are in contact by the shaitan it is always you see you do not come to know what is the truth and reality of until unless you do not know and you are not inspired or you are not motivated even if you know the quran says that you know the whole world is not practicing you see the majority of the people are not following the quran so you are left all alone so is why should i do when nobody is doing it i will be i'll be single out somewhere so it is your own responsibility to take up the message and then you amend yourself first and once you have amended or corrected maximum then you try to share with people your parents children relatives family members everywhere and since this is a topic was parent children relationship then you must have that kind of relation you cannot kill them by forcing them what to do and what not to do you cannot have so much love and affection them captivated that you leave your your own uh, following of the quran it is educating both ways that they they diverge you from the message because you are captivated by your children it is both ways so you must understand both you cannot blame also allah say you no father will be blamed for his son and no blame not reward you cannot the father can reward cannot reward the son neither son can reward the father this is not an easy way out both have to correct themselves in the nearness of god as the examples of the prophets is given of nur aslam his son was not righteous if you are right then you educate your son if ibrahim al islam his father was wrong so as a son you must educate your father in both ways so allah has shown both examples given in, in the quran for the understanding that no one takes the advantage look as a son i was spoiled or the father said i tried my level best the son didn't come to pass it's not it's not your job the guidance will always come from allah either to the father or either to the son no blame games this is how i end my lecture any question you like you can you can ask